Hey, welcome to the synchrotron at night. This is where all the most interesting science gets done. Let's check it out. So this is the bowels of the synchrotron where they generate the x-rays that we use for studying all kinds of matter. Let's see who's on duty tonight. Hi Amy. Hi. How's the uh, machine doing? Pretty well. Good? Back up and running. Okay. Oh, I see there was a momentary, uh, momentary glitch earlier in the evening, but they're back online again. What you're looking here at is the, what they call the scoreboard which is exactly that. It sort of keeps score on the, uh, how strong the x-rays are, um, how long they, the uh, researchers have before we have to refill the ring and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just going to walk around and let's uh, see who's doing what kind of science tonight. So first thing we have to do is take a badge. I've got a badge already. And in we go. Hey, how's it going? You mind being on camera? Sure. <laughs> Working hard as you can see. Absolutely. What kind of data are you collecting right now? We are gathering uh, information about distributions of orientations as silicon single crystals are plastically formed. Okay, so they're little tiny crystals of silicon and the x-rays can tell you how they're tilted yes. in space. So what, what kind of, um, I mean, what's the end application for that? like to relate that to the active slip systems within the crystal. So crystals deform uh, primarily by crystallographic slips, so atomic planes slide relative to one another, mm -hmm. but it can only slide along certain uh, planes and directions. And we'd like mm -hmm. to be able to tell which planes and directions that the crystal was deforming along uh, cool. from the distribution of orientation. So basically a, a fundamental understanding of how crystals behave under, under stresses and stuff. Cool. Getting some good data? Okay, great. Good luck. Here's another station. Let's uh, let's see what they're up to without giving them too much of a start. Hey, how's it going? Do you mind being on camera? Not at all. <laughs> What's that big balloon in there? That is a helium flight pad. Oh, cool. Can I look for a minute? No problem. Great. I see you've already uh, checked out, so we got a little alarm going off. This is cool. So it looks like there's... Are you using these uh, these rows of mirrors here? Yeah, we're actually using uh -huh. both of them. Uh-huh. Okay. So this is collecting some kind of... Um, Fluorescence, x-ray fluorescence? Exactly, I yes. see. What kind of samples? Uh, we're looking at proteins, actually. Oh, proteins, really? So Fabulous. We, Which group are you, by the way? Uh, I believe the whole of the Krebs group. At oh, the okay. Stage. Great. We're working with Ken here. Oh, okay. Okay. So what what uh, what kind of metals are in the protein that fluoresce? Yeah, so the protein has a manganese iron active site. Uh-huh. And so that's what each of the crystal sets is doing. One's uh -huh. looking at manganese, one's looking at iron. Uh-huh. And then throughout the reaction cycle, the metals go through different states at different stages, and uh -huh. so we can assess both metals at all stages using this kind of a setup. So what, what do these proteins do in, in uh, living things? I mean, what's their, their role, do you know? So this, uh, this protein is actually rubber nucleotide reductase, and uh -huh. so it's responsible for making deoxyribonucleotides, so uh -huh. holding blocks of DNA. Oh, cool. Okay, so, so controlling how, uh, how organisms reproduce and, exactly. and uh, uh, change their DNA and stuff. One of the few proteins that all organisms have. Oh, wow, so totally universal, huh? <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, good luck. Hi, this is the kitchen. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> so where people take a little break or uh, they work in shifts around the clock. So it's good to rest once in a while, get a little bit of food. Let's take a look at G-Line. This is uh, sort of on the remote end of the uh, facility here, but there's always a lot of stuff going on down here. Hey, how's it going? Good. Mind if I shoot a little no. film here? <laughs> what are you guys working on? So we're doing uh, some of the furnace studies using the uh, silicon heating. Here. Uh -huh. So we're doing wide angle and small angle as we're uh, 
oxidizing and crystallizing materials. Oh, cool. So this is that furnace. That's really wild. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's a, a great big glass tube that they heat up. And uh, they're shining x-rays from, uh, from right to left. And then they've got, you can see there's a the lattice detector catching the really wide angle x-ray scattering and clear down at the end of that pipe is a uh, is another detector catching the small angle scattering. Oh, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Mind if you're on camera? <laughs> Fix a Pilatus? Oh no, Pilatus problems, huh? Oh, you got it working. All right. Yeah, all right. Usually it's um, stop it and then start it and everything is okay. So. Yeah, we did that and it goes okay. And then as soon as I walk away, it goes back. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's. Okay. Are you going to try the scan for a third time? Okay. Good luck with that. And what are you guys doing with this uh, alien machine here? So this is basically a... Um, a, uh, a gadget which which uh, people are going to use to produce electrons for the next generation uh, accelerators for yes. uh, producing X-rays. Yes, and yeah. in fact, we, we can we can hand off from the system into uh, accelerators. The accelerators we have at Brookhaven, and we also have a have a program now to hand off to your URL. Cool. To, yeah. To grow a cathode and put it in your URL. Uh -huh. And the idea well, there is we will we'll hook it till we smoke, till we smoke it. it. And then uh -huh. we'll bring it back here and figure uh -huh. out what happened to the cathode. So this is a diagnostic. It allows you to see what's happening on yeah, the molecular scale. Uh, reflectivity and GSACs uh -huh. simultaneously uh -huh. during growth. Wow. That, that's a really wild machine with all those arms. Well, good luck. Thanks. Thank you. So this is the main control room. Let's see if the camera guy will wave to us. <laughs> Howdy. Just strolling by, taking some pictures here. So this is the, uh, the real nerve center of the whole... Uh, synchrotron here. This guy's turning the knob to making sure that everything is producing uh, smooth x-rays for us. How's the machine doing? Uh, well, earlier we had a spot of trouble, but we're doing all right now. Uh -huh. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I can see we're uh, up to full current, and uh, I just strolled down past the researchers, and they're all happily collecting data, so hopefully it'll be a smooth night. Yeah, that's what we're shooting for. Well, good luck. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> hey Lee, so the night operator just showed up. Lee's going to take over in about a half an hour for the owl shift. So there you've seen it. That's uh, the synchrotron at nighttime. These guys are going to continue on till morning and, uh, and then on for more. So that's uh, science at the synchrotron late night. Say goodnight. Good night. Good night.